YouTube, what's going on? All right, so today we're going to be installing this shift knob onto my GTI. I just got this, a really nice cue ball shape. I like it, six speed versus this old one. Not really too fond of the factory one, but you know, hey, it's all good. So of course I already started right here and I'm gonna change out the shifter base cause it's kind of broken up here. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so these tabs pop up, right? Once they come up, you lift up off of here and it comes off. Now, this will take some finagling to get off, but I've already pulled it off. Once you pull it off, this piece too, they have tabs. I pulled them off already, but you know, you don't have to, but I did because I am switching to this one. So on the shift knob, it comes with a sleeve. You just screw it in and then you put it on top here and it mounts with these Allen key screws that you can see here. I'm not sure it focused. Um, Does it focus yet? Not quite. There we go, see it? There we go. So, pretty nice shift knob if you ask me. So, I would have trimmed this if it was a little bit longer, but you see, you don't have that much to trim off, but it looks fine to me. So, we're gonna assemble the new boot, which is right here, onto the base, right there. You literally take it, flip it upside down, take this piece, flip it up top, and it snaps into place. See that? Just like that. And when you firmly press it, it's like that. It snaps into place all around. Once it snaps into place, it should look like that. Literally coming over onto the base. Now, when you put the boot on, right, after removing the old shifter, it's going to have this sleeve and... It had an O-ring that came with it, but that O-ring's broken because you have to remove it. Now, you can buy another O-ring or a hose clamp. This is the actual one I have. See it? Kind of blurry. Right there. Now it's clear. But I'm just going to use a zip tie. You're gonna make your zip tie like that, quick loop, and then you're gonna cinch it around here. Cinch it as much as you can, and it should look like that, and make sure you trim it off, or else when you put it on, you'd have to tuck it like this. Clip it off with some diagonal cutters, and there you have it. Gently tap this down and they'll clip into place. If you hit it hard, you will break it like I did right here. See that? Those tabs are gone. Now, I probably could have 3D printed a new shifter base, but eh, just went and got another one. It's cheap, it's 20 bucks. See, bent this one. And this is the front, this is the back. Take your new shift knob and once you have inserted into the shift knob holder, you slide it in just like this, right? And then you're gonna use your Allen key to tighten it. All right, so you're gonna take your Allen key, you put it in this way and tighten this way, but careful not tighten too much or you'll snap it. Hopefully you don't snap it doing this way. The other side too, right here. Bam. And yes, I have the car running with the AC on. It's pretty hot outside still. Come on. There we go. Turn it up. Turn up the front. Oh yeah. So check it out.
love how it looks now, you know, versus the old style, which is this, you know. So. Nah, I'm over here trying to lift it up like my old Subaru. But yeah, that's it. I'll post a link in the description. That way, if y'all want to check it out. Good price, too. I think I paid less than 40 bucks or 30 bucks. They are selling now some exactly like this for 80 bucks because it comes with the sleeve and everything that screws on. So, but here you go. All right, y'all. Catch y'all next time.